to have Sharzad here today. Yay. I'm so excited to be on your channel. Thank yes. you. Oh, come back anytime. Thanks. Today we're going to show you how to make baby shower party favors to awesome. send with our guests. Yes. When you have a shower or something like that, you always want to send them away with like a little thank you. Absolutely. For all that they've done. So we're going to show you three different options. They're all super easy. And I'm I'm not like a crafter. I'm not like Kaylee who can craft <laughs> these magical things. And I could do these all with her help, of course, and guidance. So if you're like not a crafter like me, these are really, really good because they're pretty easy. Right, right. they're pretty easy. Yeah. Some are a little more time consuming, but all pretty easy. So are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's get started. Cool. Okay, so the ingredients we're going to need for our cookie mix are two cups of flour, three-fourths cup of brown sugar, a half cup of white sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt. You're also gonna need one cup of these classic white chocolate chips and one cup of these milk chocolate chips, one mason jar, and then one pretty little ribbon to make it even more festive. Cause why not? Why not? Why not yeah, just do that? Yeah, it's a baby shower. <laughs> okay, let's start assembling this mixture here. Cool. So first of all, we're going to measure out our baking powder and our salt, and we're going to mix that into our flour. Do you bake very often? No, I'm terrible at baking. That's why I like doing gifts like this and giving gifts like yeah. this, because I feel like people always love cookies that are homemade, Yeah. and this is a really easy way to do it. It totally is. I got this for a baby shower favor once, and it was awesome, and those cookies actually turned out really well. I can cook, but baking is like a whole nother art form to me. <laughs> Very difficult for me to even bake a cookie. But this, yeah, you can, th this is idiot proof. Right. You know? Hopefully, I mean, I, Hopefully, would, really, yeah. I would really hate to make all these up and then they're like, those cookies they're were terrible. awful. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start layering these and I'm going to do the flour and then the brown sugar and then the white sugar, the milk chocolate and then the white chocolate, just so that you can see the different layers, break it up with the yeah. colors. So I'm just going to start scooping the flour in We'll create our first layer. Yay! You're doing such a good job, Kaylee. Thanks. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna pack that down a little bit so that that layer is even. Okay. Cool. Next, we're going to add the brown sugar. Would you like to do that? I would love to do that. <laughs> Thanks, Kaylee. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be as good as you at adding, but we'll oh. see. How'd I do, guys? Good? Good so far. Okay. Perfect. Oh, I love brown sugar. I love the I way it smells. Sharzad thought of this. Oh, I'm well, so glad you did. it's because somebody gave me one, and I was just like, that is so cute. Something you need to think about when you're making a shower favor is you have to think about all the guests. Right. Because you do have to put all of these together. Cool. Next, I'm using a funnel, and I'm going to dump the white sugar in there. Beautiful. Here we go. Okay, next we're going to add our chocolate chips. And if you're going to just be using milk chocolate, then go ahead and use a cup. We're going to use milk chocolate and white chocolate, so do a half cup of each. Yes. And we're going to start with the milk chocolate. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And you can just smash just them down. Smash it in there. there. Ooh, I love white and dark chocolate together. Yeah. Ooh, perfect. perfect. Oh, those look so cute. That's so cute. Okay, and before we oh, get that on there, adorable. I'm going to add a cute oh. tail of two bumps okay. label that we're going to put right on the lid. Wait, there we go. We'll put that down and then we're just going to put that right on top of it. That is so cute. Is that so cute? I love it. Oh, that's perfect. And, and then it fits like a little it. label yeah. on there. You can write to Charizard. That's so cute. Yeah. Next, we're going to add our instructions on how to make these cookies, which is really important that you make sure to give this to your guest. And I will leave these instructions down in the description below so you can find how to make these. And I'm just going to poke a little hole in them and then we're going to hook it to our ribbon. If you have a paper hole punch, this would be a lot easier. 
I've bought probably five paper hole punches mm -hmm. and my kids love to play with them. They are fun when you're a kid. And so they just seem to disappear. All right, that is ready to go. And since we're using a thicker ribbon for our bow, I'm going to actually grab a smaller ribbon to tie this on first. So I'm just going to put that through there and wrap that around. And then we'll put the thicker ribbon around this ribbon. So you can also tape the instructions or make a cute label that just sticks to the jar. Whatever you would like best. I think that looks so cute though. Here, I'll hold. Thank you, that's yes. perfect. I'm Kaylee's assistant today. So much better to work Kaylee's as a show. team. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. That's cute. It's mm -hmm. so cute. All right, and then if you're good at tying bows, however you tie bows best. <laughs> tie away. <laughs> Not an expert on this, so don't follow my instructions. <laughs> I want the printed part to be on the outside here, and so I'll take this around and then flip that. Let's see, what do I do? You want to make sure that this comes out the other side. There is an art to bow tying there here. There is. We're going to master it. So we're going to wrap this around. We're going to make sure that this colored part comes through this other side. Look at that bow. <laughs> Ooh-wee. Oh, that's cute though. I mean, that works. Yeah. It's like a little bow tie. Oh, there we go. We're making bow ties. We're making bow ties, Steam. It's supposed to look like a bow tie. Mm-hmm. So there you go. So you have your little bow on the front and then your directions on the back and a cute little cookie mix. Next, we're going to be making a yummy lemon sugar scrub. Yes, I love scrubs. And what you're going to need is a half cup of white sugar, one lemon, and we're also going to be using some of the lemon zest. Cool. And a fourth cup of coconut oil. And since it's a baby shower, we have little bottles that we got at Michael's and some little blue ribbon. Okay, so we're going to start mixing this up. So I'm just going to add my sugar. And then do you want to do the fourth cup of coconut yeah. oil? And I'm going to cut this lemon. I usually use a fractionated coconut oil, but okay. I didn't know how it would be in the mix. I feel like all coconut oil is good for mixes. And I've made like variations of this scrub before, and I think it's gentle enough to use on your face and body, which is really cool. I'm just going to squeeze this in here. Lemon's just so good for your skin, and I feel like lemon is just one of those like super fruits that you can do anything with. You can put it on your hair, put it on your face. Don't want the seeds in there. Right. That will not be good on your pretty little faces <laughs> to rub harsh seeds. No, okay. don't try and that. And it says to mix this up first. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna scoop this puppy in there. Perfect. And then mix. So you have a lot of different scrubs that you've done on your channel, right? I love mixing weird stuff together <laughs> in the kitchen and putting it on my body. That's and, awesome. Yeah. So if you don't want to do a lemon scrub, you can definitely check out Charizard's channel for Thank you. a different kind. Yeah, there's all kinds of good stuff on there, but these three ingredients are really like good, solid, basic things that you can always add to. You could add honey to this, you could add vanilla just for flavor. It doesn't really have any beautifying properties. But you can't go wrong. With the extra, you know, you can just give your hand a little hand oh, yeah. a little hand facial. Okay, that's mixed up pretty good. Okay, and once that is mixed up to your liking, we're <laughs> going to add a little lemon zest. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah, it will look pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, that looks so pretty. All right, and mix that up a little bit more. All right, and then it still kind of looks like porridge, <laughs> a little bit, but pretty porridge. It's gonna look really pretty in mm -hmm. these bottles. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, now that we have our scrub all mixed up and ready to go, we're going to add it to our bottles. Cool. And if you can find a funnel with a wide opening, that would probably make this a little easier. Yeah. Because this hole isn't very big, but I'm gonna use this baby spoon and just scoop it in. So definitely find a funnel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we have our lemon scrub in our cute bottles, and now we're just going to add a cute ribbon just to make it look nice and pretty. These are adorbs.com. So These cute. are so cute. Yeah, just a simple bow. There we go. So cute. So, you could also so, add a little so label or something if you wanted, but I think that that's just nice and simple and cute. Oh, that's perfect. Yay, aw. So cute. Okay, next we're gonna make these adorable baby rattles and we're so making them cute. out of marshmallows. 
So what you're going to need is some sucker sticks. You're also going to need big marshmallows and mini marshmallows. And then I'm going to put them in these cute plastic bags that I just got at Michael's and use some ribbon to tie it around the middle. So cute. And then these are sprinkles? Yep. Blue sprinkles and white-ish sprinkles and then blue candy melts and then white candy melts with bursts of color. Yes. We yes. just wanted to change that up a little bit. Okay, okay, we'll melt the chocolate and then get these assembled and we'll be ready. Okay, our chocolate is melted and now we're just going to put our rattles together, which is super easy. We're just going to take our sucker stick and put one of the big marshmallows on one end and a mini marshmallow on the other. And then you're going to dip it in the chocolate and I just use the sprinkles. You don't have to, it's optional. So I'm going to get those ready so that I can dip it in the chocolate and then sprinkle it. I put some wax paper down right here to put the rattles on so that they can dry. Put it in and then just kind of like. Oh, that's a good idea. Like kind of twirl it around. Twirl it. And then just do the same thing with the other end. Add some sprinkles. Oh, that's so pretty. Put it down to dry. And they're super fast and easy and the chocolate goes a long way. So if you know you're going to be making a bunch of these, just melt all of the chocolate and get it ready and just hurry and dip them all. It goes really fast. I'm just going to put the sprinkles on just the top. Kind of fun to change it up for a display. So do you refrigerate them after or do you, what do you do? You could refrigerate them if you want them to harden a little faster, oh, okay. but I just let them set out while I finished everything up and then went back to the first ones and mm -hmm. then we're ready to go and just slide them in the bag. Oh, so so we'll finish doing these ones and then we will put them in the bag. Perfect. Okay, the chocolate on our rattles has hardened, so we're going to add them to our bags. And as you can see, this bag is kind of long, so I'm just going to cut the end off just so that that is not That's a good idea. Off. Okay, and then we're just going to slide our rattle in there. And then we're going to grab our ribbon and cut a piece off. And then we're just going to tie that around the center. And I just did it in a knot. That is so cute. Just like that, and then if that's a little bit long, you can cut those ends a little shorter. Okay, and then it's just going to look like that. All right, are you ready to put these yes. together? Yes, okay. let's do it. All right, you guys, it's that easy, and we're finished with that. Yep, so cute, love it. All right, you guys, that is it. These are our three shower favors, and I love how they turned out. They're so cute and so easy and just like festive and fun. Really let us them. know if you guys try them, I would love to know. And if you guys have a favorite, let us know which one is your yeah. favorite. Yeah, awesome, thanks Kaylee. Yeah, thank you so much for I being here, this is fun. I'm just gonna go eat these all right now. I know, we're gonna <laughs> eat these. No, we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.